Ready? Caroline! You keep me running! Mm, sorry, sorry. The energy's just really low in here. We, uh, Crash Adams, honestly, the name Crash Adams comes from a movie. And in this movie, there's a doctor, it's called Patch Adams. And there's a doctor and he heals people with laughter, with love, with humor. And what we say always is he raises people's vibrations and, and helps heal them. And that's really what we want to bring to everybody with Crash Adams. So we're two childhood friends that, that linked up together to make some music and we're here to spread some love with the world. What's up CXO Media? We're Crash Adams and welcome to Relate. And today we're gonna to be tasting Indonesian food. So the first food we're gonna try is kue chubi. Cool. Oh, this is gonna be good. Cheers, buddy. That's good. It is like a pancake, but more of like a, a cake than a, than a pancake. Oh, that's amazing. The chocolate on there. Wow. We're foodies. So, I'm gonna say the, the first one is, of course, Jakarta. Like, not even just saying that because we were here. It's always been something that fascinated me and Adams since, since we first saw that people from Jakarta were listening to our music. Mm -hmm. So we've always kind of wanted to come here. And we never thought we would this early. But other than that, what where would you say? Maybe Tokyo for me, oh, Tokyo, Tokyo, Japan? Tokyo is a big one. It was a really cool one. I think for me, Tokyo is definitely a big one. I also want to go to uh, South America. South America. Like Brazil, America. Argentina. Yeah, Brazil. See stuff like that. That'd be but epic. no, to be, honestly, like I'm not even just saying that because we're, we're here, but uh, to go to Asia was literally a dream since this I was a kid. Dream. Yeah, this is a dream. Because the thing is, you're from Canada, you're from America, like not many people get to experience Asia. Mm -hmm. So to be able to do this, playing music with people who love our music is a, uh, yeah, it's literally a For something big yeah. in life, I think whether that's a career, whether that's money, whether that's experience, I think we feel that a lot of the people who have come to California are doing so in search of leaving their old life behind into something a little bit more grand. And that's what I would say. That's California fantastic. Girl. And that's literally what California Girl is about. Yeah. 100%. You know, it's, it's called California Girl. We have a song called California Girl, but it's actually about us leaving Canada, emptying out our entire bank accounts because LA is expensive. <laughs> that's okay. Just eat it, bro. Let's see what we got. Were you expecting Very, that? No. I like it though. I was not expecting that at all. Do you all. mix it or do you just eat it? Do, do Indonesians mix it? Yeah, I'm gonna mix it. Let's see what we got. <laughs> it's actually like not too sweet. It doesn't taste like cheese. It's also salty too. I like it a lot. This is my favorite, but this is good though. It's still good. Those are those are really good. Those are bomb. Mm. Be careful. Don't give us too many of these. <laughs> Lanjut. Lanjut. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Rambut I already know. I already know which one it is. Rambut it's, Nene. It's certainly this one. Is that? Ooh. ooh. Yeah. Y'all thought. Y'all thought I was playing. Yeah. Playing the game. I'm, I'm playing it right. Rambut Nene. <laughs> you got the pink one? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try the orange. Cool. So what is this? Rambut Nene. It's cotton candy. Wow. I've never oh, had cotton candy. It looks like cotton candy. Yeah. It looks like cotton candy. Rambut oh, Nene. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Wow. Cheers. This this literally looks like a ball of yarn. Be careful. It's my Grandma's hair. That's fire. It's delicious. It's great. The hair great. tastes amazing. Yeah. What's your grandmother use for moisturizing and shampoo? <laughs> I didn't know your grandmother was blonde. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, guys, this is great. Number one for me. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I like sugar though. Mhm. Mm I like sweet. No, my grandmother is bald. <laughs> but it's okay. It's too delicious for <laughs> any people in Indonesia. <laughs> this is so cool. I've never tried a food like this. Lanjo. <clears throat> Lanjo. Adam and Chris have been friends since forever. But how do you guys first meet? And when did you decide 
to take it to the next step. Hmm. Well, I don't really remember how we first met because I was one years old. Hmm. I was literally one years old. So, if I were to guess how it went, if I were to guess, he was born. My mom brought me to the hospital or somewhere to the house, mm. and he said, "This is gonna be your best friend." And as a one-year-old kid, I probably said, "Damn, <laughs> that's rough." <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, what a vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could speak English at one years old, but uh, yeah, I'd, like. Yeah, no, that's exactly what happened. Our moms were were best friends. Our dads were actually very good friends yeah. too, and they basically just said, "We're friends." So your friends. He came over, or like he's, I sent him the song, he played some guitar on it, and I was like, damn, this is really good. So I sent him another song that I need more guitar, and he sent it back. And then eventually when we were, when we were finished school, we got together in, in his basement, and we made a couple songs. I was never, I wasn't singing at the time, I was just producing the music, but we couldn't find a singer to make good lyrics, so we just, I decided to do it. We, we made like maybe what, five to seven songs, Garbage songs, by the way. Yeah, we're, terrible. But we thought they were the best thing in the world. Yeah, they, we thought they were the best thing in the world, and we yeah. kept going. And finally, it's the music started to get better and better and better, and and it ended up what with astronauts was like our first one that we yeah. that we put out. Yep. That we put out. Yep. And then when we when we finished astronauts, we really thought. We're delusional. We thought we were amazing. <clears throat> so we were like, let's continue to go for it and just work as hard as we can. And this is where it ended up. In Jakarta. <laughs> In Jakarta. Durian. Ooh. It kind of does smell like fruit though, at the same time. Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. My heart is this genuinely this racing right now. It smells like it's going to taste pretty good. <laughs> That's fine. Let's do it. All right. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Durian. Oh, I like it. Oh, wow. Serenia. Tastes like onion. Like sauteed onion. <laughs> you don't like it? No. I don't like it. This is like onion. Like... See opposites. If you bake a whole onion in the oven and it gets very soft, that's what it tastes like. My the, nonna calls it la chipola. That's, that's la what, chipola. That's what, that's what it tastes like. I don't know. I like this. It's probably one of my favorite. I like it better than this. I also like it better than this. I, I give us I give us like an eight, seven and a half. Four point five. Damn. Fruit from heaven, man. Fruit from heaven. Do the end. I guess yeah. Wow. Ah, I'm a I'm a fan. Lanjot. 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 What are the things that influence you? Ooh. Not really. Not a hard one. Hard? Not a hard one. Go ahead. Yeah, I feel like uh well obviously the music that we've listened to in the past influences our music. Like, you know, for me. I used to listen to a lot of like older like rock and, and things like that, but uh, I feel like it's the experiences we have too. Like for me, I used to travel a lot when I was when I was younger and stuff like that, and uh, and the people that you're around, all those things kind of. I'm gonna use a big word here: amalgamate. Amalgamate. <laughs> they come together. All these pieces. Yeah, all these up. pieces come together, and you don't even realize that it's happening when you're making music. But these experiences come out and they create these songs and, and you know lyrics and and kind of feelings. Uh, that's what I think, at least. <clears throat> yeah, I would say my mood influences a lot of a lot of what I'm doing. Um, I think there's certain times. It's funny because there's certain times where I'm like in bed, and all of a sudden, I bang, an idea mm -hmm. comes into my head. And there's certain times where I'm like really happy. And when I'm happy, sometimes happy music comes out of it. There was one time where I remember I was so, I guess you'd call it sad. But I was sad, and, and in the moment I felt like writing a song. And the song wasn't a sad song, but just that feeling, of what I was feeling at the time, influenced my ability to just write a song quickly. Um, I think other, yeah, like he said, old music, old music definitely influences us. And the final thing I could say that influences my music is, or our music, sorry, um, is. <clears throat> Probably our friends and, and the group of people that were around and the experiences we're having together. Um, I think that definitely plays a part in our in our music. How has TikTok influenced Chris and the I think it gave us a shot. Yeah. It gave us a shot. It gave us a shot. You know, we uh, we posted our first ever TikTok in 2019. Mm -hmm. 
and it got a lot of views and we thought that we made it we thought that you know okay we're going to be international superstars and then uh the next post got 600 views and then it was back down to earth <laughs> but uh yeah it literally gave us a shot because no one could really tell us like your music's good or your music's bad we just kind of put it out there and and the fans and the people were the ones that were actually telling us mm. that instead of any gatekeeping or anything like that yeah which was cool i think it was also um when TikTok came around it's it was also allowing other certain times of social media you could only see what was given to you by the platform or by the people you followed or whatever it was the moment TikTok kind of came around i could see videos from indonesia that I was never seeing before mm -hmm. because all of a sudden it was a popular video and it went viral and it ended up on my FYP. So I think it brought so many different areas of the world to us um, that allowed us to kind of, I guess that expanded our mind a lot. And that's definitely played a part in how we, how we make content, how we view content. It's, think about it, the fact that we're here is a testament to TikTok because you guys saw us. And if there wasn't TikTok, you guys might have never ever seen who we are and we would never have this opportunity to, to be with you guys. Please give us the best version of your, video, your TikTok videos. And tell us the story behind Our favorite one? Oh, I would probably say my favorite video that we ever done is Probably the same one. Is it? Probably. You sure? I think so. Sing it bad? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that is, that is definitely the best one. So we used to bring a couch into the middle of the street and we'd put our music behind it. So the videos would go very, like, super viral, but no one would listen to our music. So one day we decided that we're going to try something new. Went into public and I had the guitar and he, and he had a mic and we recorded ourselves where he would kind of sing our song Caroline. He was like, Caroline! Right? It was more and like, then Caroline, <laughs> you keep me running. Sorry, sorry. Excuse yeah, me. right. <laughs> and then once that happened, then we started playing the song properly, and you saw everyone's reactions and stuff like that. And once we posted that video, it went absolutely crazy, and all of a sudden we saw our streams just going up and up and up, and people actually listening to our music. That is one that I'll never forget. Talar gulun. So this what looks, is this? This looks really good. Snack. A oh, snack from Indonesia. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I thought you meant like, like snake. <laughs> okay. Bro, my my face, I was like, damn. I don't know about this. I don't know about this guy anymore. This looks anymore. great. This looks great. Ooh. Cheers. A little bit of protein. Love it. This is great. You know what? This is probably my favorite one. I think. Wow. I love this. As long as it's not snake. Best snack, best best, snack in best, best snake in Indonesia. That's funny. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Welcome to Cooking with Crash Adams. <laughs> I think. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna crack the eggs into this. So we're gonna put crack this. Put the egg this. in there. You pour it in there. Ah, okay. okay. And then okay. we're gonna put that in there. And then, and then we're gonna get the stick and just start turning. And we're gonna start right? turning. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. All right. Let's okay. get it. Let's get it. Yep. Is it harder to do it this way? Give her. Yeah, I'm not a good whisker. You know. Never this. It's about to... Nope, nope, no, we're good. Oh, what do we do? Get it, get what it, get do it. I do? Get it. Spin it, now spin. Yeah, yeah, no, spin it, no, spin it, spin it, spin it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spin the thing. I'm trying, bro. Like this. I... Nope, that's not, definitely not the way to do nope, it. No, 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 hold on. Oh, hold on, you're making a mess. Switch this. No, 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 switch. <laughs> switch. You get this? And you spin. As you're putting it in. Oh, oh yeah, 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 right? Yeah, you spin as you put it in, yeah. Oh. What if we use two of them? This was close. Hold on, hold on, let's try this one more time, one more time, one more time. Hold on, hold on, no, it's enough, it's enough. Right. Keep going, oh, it's working, it's working. Should I just keep going? Can Can I just do no, it? No, 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 Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> it's gotta be it, come on, gotta be. Dude, go, go, go in more, bro. Ah! Ah, no! Oh, it's gotta be fast. Damn, yo. The success rate for this must be very uh, low. <laughs> you guys are skilled. Yeah. This is some next level. Nice. We're I mean, Crash Adams, and this is our version. We give you now the 
Oh, Ooh. Yes. The worst food from Indonesia. So, you better ready? We're ready. Yeah. Let's do it. It's a joke that it's like no food because there's no bad food in here. That's hilarious. That was good. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. That was good. My heart started beating a little fast there. <laughs> Damn. That was Thank good. you very much. Thank you very much. All right, man. This is gonna be the fourth time I make this exact Love same it. wish. And here we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was relate with Crash Adams. Don't forget to listen to our new song, Good Side, out right now. Also, we learned there is no bad food in Indonesia. No. <laughs> and I promise, I'm gonna try durian fruit again. Durian. We promise, I promise. Seriously, this was honestly amazing. Thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate that.